Bringing us one step closer to the Gaganyaan mission, ISRO has successfully tested the parachute recovery system, ensuring that our astronauts can return to Earth safely. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nankyolir and today let us understand the integrated airdrop test. So on 24th of August, ISRO conducted its first integrated airdrop test in Srihari Kota. Now in this test, a dummy crew module, a 4.8 ton dummy crew module was dropped from an altitude of roughly 3 kilometers by making the use of Indian Air Force's Chinook helicopter and a safe splashdown happened in Bay of Bengal. In fact, the vehicle was also successfully recovered by the help of Indian Navy and Coast Guard. Now, what was the purpose of this test? It was to validate the parachute-based deceleration system for a safe splashdown because how will we ensure the safety of our astronauts? during the re-entry of the vehicle or during the even during emergency situations if we have to abort the mission then the astronauts can return to safety only when the parachute recovery systems or the parachutes they function effectively so this was ensured by this integrated airdrop test and with this we have achieved a successful milestone now all these tests these are bringing us one step closer to the gaganyan mission now, because we are discussing the Gaganyaan mission, let us very quickly revise what the mission is all about. So, Gaganyaan mission is India's first human spaceflight mission. It is India's first human spaceflight mission that is spearheaded by ISRO. Here, we aim to send three Indian astronauts to space to the low Earth orbit, keep them there for three days, and also return them to Earth safely. And the timeline for this is. 2027 but before sending human astronauts to space we will first conduct some unmanned or uncrewed test flights g1 g2 and g3 in 2025-26 only after the successful testing of these unmanned flights in 2025-26, will we send the Gaganyaan mission with human astronauts in 2027. And with this, India will become the only fourth nation in the world to have sent humans to space independently. And the other three countries are US, China and Russia. And in 2027, India can also join this prestigious league. That is why the Gaganyaan mission is so important and conducting all these tests become crucial because these tests bring us a step closer to achieving success in this mission. Now let's see what this integrated airdrop test is. Integrated test of what? The integrated test of the complete parachute recovery system because not just one parachute is being used. There are four types of parachutes that are being used in the Gaganyaan mission. And all the four parachutes, the complete recovery system was tested in this integrated airdrop test. Hence the name integrated. So that is when we tested all these four parachutes. Think of them like some braking system, a step-by-step -step braking system. So in order to ensure the safe arrival of our astronauts, we need to make sure that all the parachutes are working in a sequence, in an order, and they are working effectively. Only then can the astronauts return to safety. Both in the case of re-entry of vehicles, a successful or a natural re-entry of vehicles, or also during the case of emergency situations when we have to abort the mission. So this integrated test, it tested all the four parachutes and successfully all the four parachutes were working fine. But how was this test conducted? So in this test, a dummy crew module was used and it was taken up the altitude of 3 kilometers. From there, it was airdropped and then we tested all the four parachutes. So the four parachutes are, first is the air cover separator. Second, we have drogue parachute. Third is the pilot parachute. And fourth is the main parachute. Now, this is from outside to inside. Like this is the most exterior part and this is the most interior part. And all these four parachutes, like the complete parachute recovery system has been made by DRDO. 
now each parachute has its own function and for in order to work in order for the entire system to work properly all the four parachutes should perform their functions so this air cover separator as the name suggests it's the most outermost layer and this needs to this is like a protective layer so all the parachutes are placed inside this so in order to the for the parachutes to come out the separator has to move away so the separator just protects it acts as a protective shield for all the parachutes so this air cover separator is the outermost layer and it just removes the uh, separator it just removes the layer and exposes the parachutes then we have drogue parachute which stabilizes the vehicle because it's a heavy vehicle it's in high speed so this drogue parachute it stabilizes the entire spacecraft after this we have the pilot parachute and this pilot parachute it pulls out the main parachute because the main parachute is very heavy it is very protected it is not exposed just like that it is very integrally packed so in order to pull it out we need pilot parachutes so it pulls out the main parachute and this main parachute is the actual parachute which will slow down the vehicle to roughly a speed of 8 meter per second and it the vehicle needs to slow down in order to ensure a safe splash down so all these parachutes need to function effectively in order to ensure that our astronauts return to earth safely and the spacecraft achieves a successful splash down and in this test this was confirmed now let us look at the current status of the gaganyaan mission like what are the tests that we have already conducted and how many are pending because the gaganyaan mission has to go in 2027 so the series of tests it started in 2023 the first one was the abort test this was successfully conducted in 2023 after this the integrated airdrop test the current one that we already did this was also successfully conducted in 2023 and i already told you that this tested both the scenarios first was a successful reentry like a natural reentry and second is a abort mission it successfully tested both the scenarios like our parachutes are functioning properly for both the scenarios then the next is the second abort test which is scheduled for late 2025 after that as i mentioned some unmanned space flights will go g1 g2 and g3 in 2025 26 and after this as a final step the first human space flight planned for 2027 will go so three astronauts for three days in the low earth orbit of roughly 400 kilometers so all these tests we already done these two these are pending all these tests are bringing us one step closer to the gaganyaan mission and this mission is extremely important because we will be only the fourth nation to have achieved this so this will improve our credibility in the global space sector so that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed the discussion now let us practice a question for prelims consider the following statements about the gaganyaan mission the integrated airdrop test is meant to validate the parachute based recovery system of the crew module the parachute recovery system for gaganyaan has been developed by isro's vikram sarabhai space center india will become the fourth nation in the world to independently send humans into space select the correct answer one only two only one two and three one and three only please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in the next video for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications